Okay, so just a real quick tutorial on how I use Zotero. Um, I think everybody should have something that works for you. If, if you don't have anything, you could try this. Um, if you have something that's working for you, by all means, stay with stay with what you have. But if if you don't, this might be a useful tool. So here is Zotero. Um, this is what the interface looks like once it's installed, and you can use whatever uh, saving conventions organization that you that you would choose to use here uh, I have my you know everything that I want to use in my dissertation is here and I'm going to be calling on humanism uh, and certain leadership in my theoretical framework so I have those organized this way and then uh, items from my literature view here um, and I think the thing that I've come to enjoy about this is it has plugins to connect with the things that I use. So I'll show you first um, the plugin. Let me move this out of the way. The plugin that's in Google Chrome. There's a Chrome extension. So uh, and it's this little guy here. As long as it's running, I have the option to just come here and I can save this resource. Uh, directly using this button like if I'm just out on the web somewhere and I see something that I think this is a great article I'm going to be able to use this I can click this button and save it um, I also have the option to hit this button and uh, export the citation and when I do that uh, it's going to tell me that it's going to go into Zotero and this is asking me like where do you want to put it now oh, I should have clicked that a little a little faster um, but it, it did it, it put it in a place where I was where my um, heading was here so here's the the source it dropped it in for me and there are a few things that I need to check I can't stress this enough bad data in is going to get you bad data out so you have to look at this material the way it comes in and make sure it's right sometimes this title is like title case so it would be like capital L capital S capital L uh, the way that you would title you know anything in the normal world um, if it comes in that way uh, you have to fix it here um, because this is the way it's going to export it uh, this one happened to come in uh, the way APA would want it so we're good to go there if not I would just simply come here and make those corrections uh, I like to check the names to make sure that they're uh, that they look good if not I'll fix those up um, I like to check the date this one actually came in perfectly the date looks good I, you know APA doesn't care about the month and day so in an abundance of caution we could take that out if we wanted to um, there's a DOI so we're good on that if there's not sometimes there's a URL and sometimes this is just blank when it comes in so you have to go find the DOI and put it in here but you know all of these fields are editable and then I always take notes excuse me not notes tags so this one has the tag that I would be looking for servant leadership but if it didn't um, I would just you know go here and add the tag so this one looks like it's in pretty good shape now uh, we've used Zotero uh, in the Chrome extension here um, we could also use it in Google Drive now obviously we're not writing our dissertation in Google Docs but we might be writing our discussion post here and so I can click up here as a tarot add a citation this is gonna take a second because it's gonna spin up it's gonna sign me in bear with me for one hot second it's gonna ask me what <clears throat> what I want to use, obviously, it's APA 7th edition. Ask Dr. Q, she'll tell you. Um, and I can type in whatever whatever I want. I mean, I, if I know the title, I can type it in here. If I know the author, I can type it in there. I'm big on tags. I use a ton of tags. So I'm just going to type in servant leadership. And um, I, this wasn't the one, but th this is... Uh, this is one that we'll use and I just I hit that and now boom there's my citation it works exactly the same way in Microsoft Word so 
here is uh, some interesting thing that I've said about servant leadership. I'm just going to go into my Sotero uh, ribbon after it's installed and it functions the same way. Servant leadership. Um, I don't even know what this. Um, oh, I misspelled it. Um, there it is. That's not the one that I just imported, but uh, that's one that I would maybe use in this situation. Um, and then, of course, it's going to do the other things that you would expect it to do. Like if I go here for references. Uh, and I click uh, to add a bibliography. Uh, it'll create that for me. And, you know, I'm going to look it over, make sure it all looks good. And it does. Yeah. I mean, I think we're in good shape. So anyway, that that's, that's how I use it. Um, hopefully that's of value to you. I think the, the main thing is just being able to get your all of your sources organized in a way that's useful and um, it's been a lifesaver for me so hopefully it's helpful for you too.